we're going to start with the ERR Shapex. The ERR Shapex sits right at the end up here, um, the top of the tree in terms of performance, pure performance. We're not talking about comfort and cruisiness, performance. The Apex team is the fastest board we've tested whilst we've been out here. It's super fast. It's super grippy. It's a lot of fun, provided you've got the technique to ride it. It suits a more of a, an aggressive rider. It suits probably a, a, a good intermediate that wants to ride quickly, wants to ride with a lot of power. The grip is really, really assured, super strong. Uh, and, and also having a fast board, you want to have a lot of grip. Otherwise, you're just not going to be able to control the kite. You're just going to go too fast. The kite's going to drop back in the wind window and you're going to find yourself being overpowered. So the Apex does a very good job of allowing you We apologise for the uh, noise pollution, but the uh, Cape Town military are doing uh, tests here at the moment. That wasn't my stomach. <laughs> no, I am hungry. Um, so yeah, w why do we like the Apex? Because it allows you to ride fast and in control. Um, if you're riding quickly, the kite generally starts to sit more in the power in the wind window. Uh, uh, so it's essential that you can hold down that power and this board allows you to do that. You can ride quick with tons and tons of grip. And then you also have the advantage of quite a square tip and tail, which has got a little bit of flex in it, but not too much really uh, allows you to get an awful lot of pop when initiating freestyle tricks or when you're really, really holding, holding onto that rail, increasing the line tension and sending the kite back for a jump. Um, but yes, not the most comfortable board here, but very, very comfortable to ride in demanding conditions in strong wind. It's really not going to let you down. When you load up the rail, you feel very, very locked in and locked in with a good amount of drive. It gets up to speed very, very quickly. You dive the kite, bit of pressure on the front of the board and it goes boom, straight, straight into a really good, good riding speed. Um, uh, and the edging on it as well is, is quite aggressive. You can go from a hundred to zero very, very quickly. You know, as the longer you kite surf, the, you develop that kind of edging feel um, with your feet. And uh, this definitely suits someone that has already got that down so that you don't just suddenly lose everything. It's got quite a, a flat bottom sheet with a small concave. You know, it hasn't got loads and loads of channels there. So what that means is, is that if you flatten the board off, it can become a little bit slidey. But saying that, you know, you've got to be quite extreme with your movements to make it do that. You know, one of the standout things about this board is, is that as soon as you load the rail, it grips, it grips hard and it drives forward. You just need to make sure that your technique and kite position is in the right place. And if it is, then wow, you can really, really steam into kickers like at maximum speed with maximum grip, maximum line tension, boost to the moon. And if you're parking the kite and you want to do some unhooked freestyle, then the board just absolutely helps you by giving you the precision that you need to initiate trips, tricks well and with style. We love the foot straps. I mean, just such a great example of a well-designed pad and strap set. Good amounts of adjustment, soft but firm, it's quite hard. And the base plate, it, you know, it's, it, it grips really, really well. You don't find your feet getting shoved through the strap when you land heavily. Um, and for me, who likes to do a bit of board offs as well, I have the ability to one minute feel super, super locked in for loops, which is really important in freestyle. And then the next minute when I'm sending, sending the kite up to do a board off, I can actually get my feet in and out quite quickly as well. And that's quite a hard thing to achieve. So yeah, absolutely love the foot straps. And you know, good pads and straps, is pretty much 50% of, of the ride. So you're always starting off in a good place with a quality set of pads and straps. Combine that, combine that with this board. I mean, yeah, if you're at the right level, it really is a rocket ship to the moon. Yeah, for sure.